how to integrate Zapier and Klaviyo and start using it. Hi, this is Andrew from Florium, email marketing agency, as well as creator of this YouTube channel. And in this video, I will show you how to integrate Klaviyo and Zapier and how to start using it. So first of all, let's log into our Klaviyo account. So here's a Klaviyo account, also Zapier. And first thing you need to do in Zapier, just go to My Zaps and look for Klaviyo. Klaviyo. So right here. So it asked me for Klaviyo, the public ID and private API. By the way, I have another video on how to get the public API and private API. Uh, I will put it in the cards, <laughs> but I'll show you one more time. So just go to account. This is my test account and go to settings and click on API keys. Here I have my API key. Actually, you click generate new one. And for organization purposes, I would highly recommend to name them Zapier2. I put it underscore two because I already have one. The first one you see Zapier. Okay, so I'm copying this code and pasting here. So it's my private API and public is this one, site ID. Click there and click yes, connect. Oops, I already integrated a long time ago, but this is just for demo purposes. So this one, test, success, cool. So now what we can do is to, there's two ways, either any action triggered in Klaviyo will do something else or any action you do some somewhere else and it will be added to Klaviyo. For example, if you have a sign up form or any survey form, Google form, anything where you're collecting emails after person submit that forms, then you can add them to Klaviyo profile. Hypothetical example number one, let's say Google form. So somebody submits Google form, new response in spreadsheet. Continue. Okay, I didn't have anything connected. Try to connect to my love. Okay, so I have this community members uh, Facebook group flowing. Then this one, click continue. Uh, test and trigger. Do we have any data? Mm, it looks like we do not have anything here. Okay, so I have an email here. So the next step I do continue, then I do Clavio and add subscriber, continue, then Clavio site. So this one, the second one, then continue, and then list. Typically it's like newsletter, then email, and email you pick from that uh, Google form. So this is the email. And also I highly recommend if you are collecting name, just to add name as well. And that's it. So no need to add anything else. Click continue and test and continue. So now let's go back to my Clive account profiles. Yeah, so this person was just added through Zapier. Also, there's another way how you can use Zapier and um, Zapier and Clive. It's make a zap and you can start from Clive. Clive start from Clavio and uh, do the new event and choose which ev continue. Do this one, continue, test trigger. It's harder to do and I do not recommend to do this way. Why? Because anything person do through Clavio, open email, close, uh, like unsubscribe, purchase, abandon their cart, any events. If I go to my profile here, so it just start the checkout. Okay, so you see there's four events. Zapier will be triggered four times and every time it will do some action. So I do not recommend that way unless you want to create some kind of log of actions per user and put it in Google Sheet or some database. I do not recommend to do it that way. Yeah, so this was a video how to integrate and how to start using Zapier and Clavio. If you have any additional questions or requests about 
explainer videos, please let us know and we will record them for you. Thank you.